This video will show you how to use the digital sound wall. Open the PDF file that is called Digital Sound Wall from your download, and then you will click on this link to make a copy of the digital sound wall. It will pull up in your Google Drive. Um, make sure you're assigned into the Google Drive you would like to be using the digital sound wall in. Go ahead and click Make a Copy. Here is your digital sound wall. There are two modes within this Google slide. One mode is edit mode. That is like this, where you have a toolbar up at the top. You have a banner of um, thumbnails of the different slides over on the left. And this is the mode where you can do a few things such as type in keywords and um, move the lock cards off. So the first two slides, this is slide one, this is slide two. These are great for displaying in your classroom on a smart board or project on your whiteboard for students to reference during their writing instruction, um, literacy centers, things like that. Or during your small group, you could project it on a, an iPad, on an iPad or a computer. These ones are fully uncovered. All of the lock cards are off, all of the sounds and keyword images and keywords are showing. Each, audio, each sound has an audio button that will play the sound. This audio button works in both edit mode and the other mode that I'll cover in a minute called presentation mode. So these two slides are ready to go to view. The next two slides are the interactive slides that obviously do have lock cards over the sounds. These are the ones where if you want to move the lock card off, you can either click and drag it over to the side to uncover the sound or you can simply click the delete button on your keyboard to get rid of it. Then what you, another thing you can do is to type keywords in the text box. Feel free to push enter and continue typing. You can adjust the size, you can adjust the font, you can change it to be bold text, you can change it to be underlined, etc. Um, and type as many keywords as you would like and the text box will auto fit for as many keywords as you have. Another thing you can do in the edit mode is add the keywords on the larger sound slides right here in this blue text box. Same thing, you can add the keywords, you can change the font, the size, the bold, um, the format of the text. You can type as many words as you would like. You can also move the text box around if you need to have more space um, for the words on the screen. Now. I will go over presentation mode. So after you have typed your keywords and moved the lock card off, you can go into presentation mode by clicking this button up here, slideshow. You can also click presenter view. This will present it within the window rather than taking up the full screen. This is the view I'll show you right here. So you can see here the lock card is gone because we did move that off. In presentation mode, you, can't, mode, you cannot click and type. Um, you need to do that in edit mode, but you can click right on the letter for the sound card and it will take you right to the larger sound card. And you can see the words that you typed right here. You can see the mouth formation, the image, the letter representation, etc. If you click this black arrow, it will take you back to the full sound wall screen that you started on. And if you want to get out of presentation mode, simply click the escape button or ESC button on your keyboard and that will take you back into edit mode. 